Tulsa County taxpayers are being asked to chime in on the problems at the jail and the juvenile detention center. Leaders announcing a series of town hall meetings to find some solutions. Tunis reporter Patricia Santos looks into the concerns. Well, this is the parking lot outside the Tulsa County Juvenile Detention Center and Courthouse, and you can see that there is limited parking here. Well, this is one of the problems that Tulsa County leaders say has been delayed for several years now due to lack of funding. Shame on us. Shame on us. How are we going to turn the next generation who's going awry? District Attorney Tim Harris passionate about figuring out how to improve things for the youth who end up at this facility. This morning, we got a look at the problem inside the facility. Among the list of problems, courtrooms that are too small, no private meeting rooms for attorneys and clients, limited waiting room space, couple that with building problems like leaky roofs and not having a working air conditioning and bad plumbing. The families that we serve and the employees that work within our system do deserve a place to work. It's hot in here. Why? Because I don't have an air conditioner that works. Didn't work yesterday when we had a huge court docket. It's not working today. It will get very warm. But that's just part of the problem. Also in need of serious renovations is the Tulsa County Jail in downtown, where overcrowding has reached an all-time high, mostly due to mental patients that end up there. And leaders want taxpayers to help them figure out how to solve these problems. The first of several meetings begins next Monday. We'll have more information on our website, kjrh.com. Reporting from Northwest Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you.